and hey, welcome back to the early evening show. I'm Don Conley. This is Corey Marshall. Right now, we're going to introduce, uh, bring in some guests of ours, uh, some filmmakers from right here on campus. I'd like to introduce Kevin and Chris Cedar, guys. Come on out. Woo! Nice to be here, guys. Nice to be here. <laughs> this is like, this nice is to awesome. Nice to meet you, man. What's up, man? Oh, man, I, I've been digging your show since I saw it first. Uh, like three years ago. Um, so you guys, um, you guys are a couple of filmmakers. Uh, so what is, you know, what is it, what is it like being, you know, filmmaker uh, on campus? You want, you want me to let this go? Yeah, I do. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a film major. So it's not like I'm a filmmaker and I decided just to stay here and just make films in this town. It's awesome. It's just like being able to put your talent in uh, your ability and it's making things from like what's in your head to watching it on screen in front of people is a it's a thrill. What do you think? What he said. He opened this for me. No. <laughs> no, it, I mean it's just like it's the way uh, we get our message out there and you know, it's fun making videos and yeah. So what kind of films do you guys do you guys make? Um, I mean, like, we make, like, comedies, but we also make, like, serious films. I mean, it just depends what we're, like, feeling, I guess, right? Yeah, we like, I mean, we like to do, like, we don't like to be just typecasted or, like, put in the, we like to put whatever's on our mind. Usually in our comedy, if we're doing, doing comedy, we're trying to make a point at something. Like, that's our, our super objective is to make a point or we like to, like, commentate on different things that is going on in our lives or in the world at the time. So, I mean, as a filmmaker, I don't want to just make something that doesn't have a point. We like the whole goal, the, the reason I got into this stuff is to, like as cliche as it sounds is to change something that's I see that's not right in the world and change yeah. it for the better. Last film I made or a long time ago uh, for it was just a short music video parody, but there was a point. Which one was that one? The Lady Gaga one. Oh yes, oh yeah. There's a point to it. It's not just me, me doing something funny. There's a point behind the film, mm -hmm. and I hope I hope people get that. Yeah, I mean, I want to talk about that one a little bit because it's uh, at first the first time you watch it, you know, for most of it, you're just like, what what is this? I mean, it's ridiculous. You were you were running around. What the, what were you wearing? That was. To that's a good question. I still don't know what I'm. I was wearing. Uh, <laughs> I was wearing. Uh, I think it was a female swimsuit, and yoga pants. I think they were yoga pants. Yeah. And how I was walking around campus, See, wearing that and uh, just. Yeah, I, I made it for a class, uh, for a telecommunications yeah. class, and it was a minorities of film class, and that was one of the goal. Like we had a had to step outside our comfort zone and it definitely you gotta step when you're doing that in public so not only am I doing it for YouTube or I'm doing it for the internet you're also doing it in front of a live audience and that's it was it was scary at first but it was yeah something. I mean there's a good message behind it it's not all just just a ridiculous video you know I mean what were you trying to put get across though with that um <laughs> that's a good question what I was trying to get across there's a lot of different things uh, I just wanted to break down the stereotypes of homosexuality and different, like, and there's a montage scene in it of showing mainstream films and how they portray mm -hmm. human sexuality and homosexuality in film. And my goal was to kind of mimic that and go over the top and make fun of these mainstream films that are portraying homosexuality in this most stereotypical, yeah. cliche ways. And my goal was of the film was to counteract that, make fun of that, and, um... Now, Kevin, I, I saw some of your stuff. Um, it was Kevin Cedar Media. Yeah, yeah. Your, is your YouTube. So, so what do you do? Like, I saw a lot of commercials and stuff. Well, uh, Kevin Cedar Media actually is, uh, I have my own business that I, like, pretty much run, and, um, people, like, musicians pay me to make music videos, uh, take pictures, and, um, I make commercials, like you said. I mean, it's just my business, I guess. So, Chris, um, uh, WBGU has its uh, show called Live Wire down at Clizel, mm -hmm. um, and you do a lot with that. So, so what do you do with that? Uh, Live Wire is uh, it's a live concert series that we do locally downtown at Clizel, like you said. And I'm director of photography, so I, I 
and I'm the editor and I'm producer. I do it all kind of uh, with a lot of collaboration with different students and different faculty members. But basically, it's a 88.1 created the TV show and radio show, and we're teaming up with our friends at WBGU PBS. So tomorrow, go to the Clizel. At the, it's free. You're going to see fantastic live bands. And you can be part of a TV show because we're actually filming live there. Uh, we're not live on TV, but we're filming the, the live concert. And you can be on TV. I, I know I helped out with, uh, with your last one you did. Yeah. And I mean, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, and you were you were you're just you just started co-hosting them this season. Yeah, well, season uh, two, they're, you guys are doing season two right now, right? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're in the middle of filming season two. Yeah. Um, uh, Stephen, how, how should I say, Mr. Mayor? Or... Stephen. 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 Yeah. Steve. He uh, he wanted like another person to be on it, and I said I'll do it. And I guess he likes me, and I'm co-hosting. And yeah. Got the job because of him. <laughs> And he, he's uh, alongside the fabulous Paige Dunham. Oh, yeah. And uh, you two, uh, you we got go, chemistry together. Yeah, no one thought we would actually have chemistry. But I did. No, no. What's why, why, why is I, that? I, I, is it well, something like, against her? Or what? No, no. Like, we just never really, like, met each other. And, like, we just sort of, like, co-hosts and hosts. It was like Batman and Robin, but, really? like, without knowing each other. That, I mean, this sounds really cool. I've watched you do some editing in there. And, and of course, I shot it that um, the last show. And I, it was, I know it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun for me just to, I mean, it's, it's a serious, it's, it's a serious show and it's, yeah, it's they, gonna be I, good. I, I, I think when it debuts on, on TV, that it really gives BG, like it shows our local scene and our nightlife scene and it shows it in a positive way because it's, it's cool and we want people to go out to the bars and out to continue. I, I think live music is starting to like go on under the wayside and it's like why not go out to see a free live concert it's a lot of fun free live band you're at a bar get some drinks and yeah. watch the bands and this this Thursday I'm telling you this the lineup is the best lineup we've ever had really? in my opinion we have one of the bands gold they're from Toledo and they're fantastic they're fantastic like uh, popish funky mixture of jazz stuff in there it, I don't even know how to describe them but it's it's good and come on down it's free give us a couple well, I plan on being there uh, better be hopefully yep uh, you need me to operate your camera I'm, I'm assuming you're hired yeah <laughs> all right that sounds good for me I'm done here then no. <laughs> all right I will uh, thank you guys for coming in and uh, we'll be right back Our musical guest is a local artist from Perrysburg. You can see him performing solo tonight at Beckett's in Bowling Green or in his band's upcoming show on April 18th at Clazelle, also at Bowling Green. Like him on Facebook at facebook.com slash Music. Download his latest album, Sometimes the World is Just Ugly, off iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. And now we present to you, Ryan Dunlap. A little bit of this, a little bit of every, a 
Check out Ryan tonight at Beckett's Bar and Grill from 10 to 2. He'll be playing down there. All right, and we'd like to thank all of our special guests. We'd like to thank Ryan, the Cedar Brothers, and the Bleach Creatures for coming in and just giving us one great show. Yeah, that's all we'll have for you tonight. Look for us. We'll be back sometime in April on Wednesday here on WBGU-TV. Check us out then. Thanks a lot. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Thanks, guys. Cool.